So introduce yourself. Uh, good evening, good evening, ma'am. My name is Arun Tomar. I come from Eta Uttar Pradesh. I have done my schooling from there, and then I did my graduation from JSS Academy of Technical Education, Noida, in electrical engineering. And uh, there, I have been in the uh, top three in academics. I have also been the part of technical team uh, as well as the electrical departmental society of our college. I have been the technical head there. I have also been the core team committee member of our annual fest of our college. I am talking about the internship. I did my internship at UPPCL. And then I did my project in electrical vehicle wireless charging on road. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, when did you complete your VTEC? I'm in twenty twenty two. Uh, so for one year, one and a half year, what have you been doing? Uh, ma'am, I've been preparing for various uh government examinations. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, how do you think you're suitable for this job? Ma'am, I think that uh, I am. Uh, I have all the required traits for this job. I am, ma'am. I am committed. I have this, uh, ma'am. I am committed. I have discipline, and I think I am passionate about working with the HPCL. The kind of work HPCL provide to its employee, the challenges, the opportunities it offers, ma'am. I think I can, I can play my role there, and ma'am, I am also a team player. I have done my team. I. Uh, the team skills can be derived from the fact that I have already working in it. I have already worked in a team in the in the uh, departmental society of my college, ma'am. I am adaptable. I can change up to the uh, situation. So that's that's why I think I am suitable for this job, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, uh, like, why do you want to apply to HPCL? Ma'am, uh, uh, because it of it is providing a good. Good opportunity, good career growth. Uh, the it's a good opportunity for an electrical engineer to work in a, a sector which directly impacts the growth of the nation, and uh, the work culture and the job is also very good as an electrical engineer. That's why I want to join the HPCL. Okay, so can you uh, like uh, give me your weaknesses? Ma'am, my weakness is sometimes that I overthink, and uh, some um I overthink a lot. Sometimes it is good. It uh, sometimes it comes as a benefit, but sometimes it just create extra burden. And uh, also, second thing that uh, I am refining my team skills, uh, the time management skills, ma'am. That I think that I can work more on. Okay. So, who's the CMD of HPCL? Uh, ma'am, Mr. Pusp Kumar Joshi. Okay. Is the current CMD. Uh, yeah. How many units does HPCL have? Uh, ma'am, talk. Uh, ma'am, units in term of refineries. Uh, like the it's um, uh, basically it's uh, um, HPCL ki kitne wo hain uh, units basically kitne um uh, refineries. Uh, ma'am, four HPCL is working in four main refineries. First is the Mumbai and Visakhapatnam. These are the two main refineries. Mumbai with the nine point uh, five million metric ton of refining capacity and Visakhapatnam with nine eight point three million metric ton of refining capacity. Uh, second is with the MRPL Mangalore uh, Petrochemical Refining Limited. Um, that is that has the capability of nine million metric ton of refining capacity. Third one is of uh, Guru Gobind Singh Refinery capacity, uh, Guru Gobind Singh Refinery Plant at Bhatinda, Punjab. And the fourth one is at Mam Barme Refinery, which is in the extension phase now. Okay, and what about HRRN? Ma'am, HRRL, uh, ma'am, uh, okay, do the, the Barmi refinery is in uh, that that is the project that HRRL, uh, HPCL is working with HRRL in that Barmi refinery plant. And that has 9 million metric ton of refining capacity. The 74% mm -hmm. of the stake is with the HPCL and 24% is with the uh, government. Okay. Uh, so, as a, as a management officer, what would the, be your duties? Ma'am, uh, the many uh, ma'am, the there will be two rules. The rule can be in the refinery as well as in the marketing domain. In the marketing domain, the role mainly will be of the sales officer, where we we'll, we will have to sell the petrol and the various uh, products of SPCL and market them. And what about the technical one? Ma'am, in the refineries, uh, the refine, 
ma'am in refineries the refining of the crude oil is done so there 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 is a specific uh, like in that also the navigation and the control i can say that that kind of a job will be provided there in the refinery basically of mo monitoring the uh, crude processes and refining of oil okay can you tell me the challenges which are faced by the oil and gas industry ma'am challenges is that uh, the since the oil is limited in uh, quantity so the in future in future time we will have to switch to the renewable energy sector and that is the main challenge that uh, any oil industry will face in the coming sector and also the second thing is that there with every war like situation the price fluctuations in the oil happens a lot so that is also a challenge that uh, oil companies mainly face okay so um can you tell me some uh, best practices which can be followed in the oil and gas industry ma'am practices related to what uh, in terms related of related to its function yeah uh, we can uh, any any kind of practice that that is uh, best uh, okay uh, maybe management best management practices ma'am in terms of management the, uh, since there is already a hierarchy in the organization how the work should be divided to both and also there should be a flexible timing for the employees so that they can work up to their maximum potential and also there should be awareness programs about how the products can benefit the uh, the uh, how we well we can market our products this is this can be done so many marketing events organizing events we can organize many marketing events also and in organization a positive work work culture should be provided to all the employees so that they can work well see when i asked management you are taking it towards hr itself okay so best okay. management practice means management of the unit basically so it it includes material it includes production it includes everything maintenance so uh, when when we talk about best practices it can be in the um, uh, for machines it can be for material it can be for production it can be like conservation of water environment all that stuff everything comes in manage in best practices actually okay so you talk you can talk about anything in best practices okay. not just the hr and all that like uh, flexible hours and all that that comes under hr okay right so manage best practices would mean uh, reducing emissions conserving water uh, reuse of materials uh, use of less toxic materials and then the maintenance um uh, and monitoring okay equipment um, high efficiency equipment and you can talk about equipment also uh, so all these can come in your uh, best practices as a man in management okay yes so management of the unit of the refinery or the unit or the whatever so everything would come in that best practices okay, okay fine so that you can do uh, do you know about swot analysis Yes, ma'am. Strength, weakness, opportunity, and threats analysis. So, can you tell me SWOT analysis in oil and gas industry? Ma'am, the uh, strength of the organization is that uh, oil industry is that the. Ma'am, can I take a minute? Yeah. Um, strength of the uh, industry is that the the market is very huge, so the uh, so it can be uh, utilized a lot, and uh, the weakness that we mainly face in the oil industry is that the uh when since we are not a oil producing nation, so we we have to uh, take it from the another nation. So there there the there is a threat and weakness in that sector only, uh because the oil prices as well as the controlling. by the various governments in uh, delivering the oil to a nation that can be a problem and the opportunities are used because the uh, whole economy is developed uh, based on the oil sector any generation manufacturing or production of any unit will require the oil so there can be a huge opportunity in terms of that okay uh, yeah opportunities uh, can be like jo aap marketing ke liye use karte ho kai baar jaise आपने वर्ड ऑफ माउथ यूज कर लिया बिकॉज ऑयल इंडस्ट्री में तो ये आईओसीएल एच पी सी एल इनका तो वर्ड ऑफ माउथ ज्यादा चलता है 
ओके एंड ऑलरेडी ब्रांडिंग है इनकी है ना सो अपॉर्चुनिटीज कैन बी दैट एंड ऑब्वियसली यस वीकनेसेस ठीक था आपका जो एनालिसिस था इसमें थोड़ा सा और इम्प्रूव किया जा सकता है जस्ट थिंक अबाउट द स्ट्रेंथ दिस वॉट एनालिसिस हेयर एंड वॉट इज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ आई टी ऑन दिस इंडस्ट्री Ma'am, impact of IT. IT can be utilized in this industry to get the actual viewpoint of where we can increase our production, where we can increase our marketing, and uh, it can be utilized for the fact data science can be included in the HPCL so that we can actually get the uh, where we are lacking in the sector, where we can include more products and what more is uh, required in terms of the research and development sector. in the organization that can also be a point and uh, other than that uh, basically we can find out the customers firstly we can focus on the customer second is on the r&d of the organization and third one is the, uh, about the marketing that all three domains we can cover with the help of, of it and data science okay and what in uh, what is green technology in oil uh, oil and gas industry what do you mean by green technology ma'am i am not sure but uh, i can make a guess a uh, green technology is about including more the renewable energy sector uh, in terms of like we can uh, mainly we uh, switch our domain from mainly thermal to thermal and nuclear to uh, the sectors like wind energy and solar energy which which are which are clean clean kind of energy in nature and also which we can sustain it for the longer period and it can be like improved hydrogen and gas storages and all that okay yes right? okay so uh, aryan your like uh, introduction was okay lekin when i asked you about the plants like whatever the plants and the refineries uh, i just asked you the name but you were you were like uh, uh, like answering the capacities also and sometimes you can make mistake also even if बहुत अच्छे से रट्टा मारा है तो भी ना मिस्टेक हो जाती है तो जितना पूछा जाए उतना ही बोलना है ठीक है नो एक्स्ट्रा थिंग्स ओके दैट दैट वाज़ द ओनली फ्लॉ देयर एंड थोड़ा सा ना आपके आंसर्स जैसे आईटी वाला और ये वाला स्वॉट वाला थोड़ा अच्छा हो सकता है तो जस्ट थिंक अबाउट दिस की आई इंडस्ट्री मतलब आई का क्या इम्पैक्ट कहाँ कहाँ किस किस पार्ट पे होता है ऑयल एंड गैस सेक्टर के ठीक है एंड देन ग्रीन टेक्नोलॉजी का थोड़ा सा और अच्छा हो सकता था कि क्या हम वैसे इट वाज गुड लाइक आप इतना भी बोल सकते हो बिकॉज इट इज रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी के ऊपर जो हम लोग का फोकस करते हैं ठीक है सो बट उसमें भी हम क्या क्या विंड और ये सब तो है ही और क्या कर सकते हैं ठीक है फाइन और बाकी एक एक आधा चीज वो एनवायरमेंट के ऊपर भी हो सकता है कि एनवायरमेंट इम्पैक्ट क्या है और ये चीजें जो मैंने अभी नहीं पूछी आपसे बिकॉज वी हैव लेस टाइम सो यू कैन लाइक थिंक अबाउट दैट यस मैम मैम मुझे कुछ क्वेश्चंस थे एच पी से रिलेटेड जिनके आंसर मुझे नहीं मिल पा रहे थे जैसे एच पी पेट्रोल पंप जो है मतलब व्हाट इज डिफरेंट इन एच पी पेट्रोल पंप पेट्रोल पंप एक्चुअली बेसिकली सारे पेट्रोल पंप सेम ही ऑफर करते हैं तो व्हाट कैन बी आंसर टू सच क्वेश्चन ओके क्या फर्क है लाइक एच पी सी एल पेट्रोल पंप एंड अदर कंपनी पेट्रोल पंप हाउ आर दे डिफरेंट लाइक मैंने विजिट भी किया बट दे वर ऑल द सेम सो दिस वाज अ क्वेश्चन दैट वाज आस्क्ड इन एच पी सी एल वैसे एच पी सी एल में वो लोग ऑफर्स भी देते हैं बट आई आई थिंक और पेट्रोल पंप्स में भी ऑफर्स देते होंगे वो लोग आई एम नॉट श्योर ठीक है तो आई थिंक ये वाला uh, ये वाला क्वेश्चन मे बी नेक्स्ट टाइम यू टेल मी आई जस्ट फाइंड इट आउट कि एच पी सी एल और डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर यस मैम मैम एम एक क्वेश्चन ये पूछना था कि जैसे हाँ. मैंने बी एच ई एल का इंटरव्यू भी दिया था मैम तो जैसे वो मुझे मेंशन करना चाहिए या नहीं करना चाहिए अभी उसका रिजल्ट अनाउंस नहीं हुआ है नहीं नहीं तो वो क्यों मैंशन करना है आपको मतलब अगर वो पूछते हैं कि लाइक यू हैव एनी अदर ऑफर्स और समथिंग देन शुड आई मेंशन ऑफर्स तो अभी तक आपको है ही नहीं आपने इंटरव्यू दिया है ना आपको ऑफर तो नहीं है नहीं नहीं मतलब मैम अगर ऐसे पूछते हैं जैसे आपने कोई और एग्जाम दिया नहीं नहीं वो नहीं पता होता है इतना अगर अभी दिया है ना और अभी इसका रिजल्ट भी नहीं आया वो आपने करके ज्वाइन ना किया हो देन यू कैन टेल ओके ओके ठीक है मतलब आपने करके बिकॉज़ यू वांट टू गो इन फॉर एचपीसीएल इस तरह का कुछ बोलना हो देन इट इज डिफरेंट फाइन ओके ओके एनी अदर थिंग मैम 
and what more can i improve like on what area uh, see, i can abhi improve to mujhe yehi areas nazar aaye jo tumhare the matlab jo answers the they were good matlab not bad but aapka swot and it mein thoda sa improvement ho sakti thi aur dusra bas wohi aap apne limit karo answers ko jitna pucha ja raha hai utna answer karna hai theek hai kai baar kya hota hai aap extra bolne lagte ho to agar aapki capacity se figures ko to waisi figures to tabhi bolne chahiye jab वो एक्चुअली मैं आपसे पूछी कि उसकी कितनी कैपेसिटी है और मैम जो आपने मटेरियल प्रोडक्ट वाला क्वेश्चन पूछा था वो कैन यू रिपीट दैट क्वेश्चन कौन सा जैसे मशीनिंग मटेरियल एंड प्रोडक्ट से रिलेटेड जो आंसर आपने किया था एचपीसीएल uh, में आप क्या बेसिकली मेंटेनेंस uh, से रिलेटेड आपने कुछ क्वेश्चन पूछा था अच्छा अच्छा बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस का पूछा था यस मैम ठीक है व्हाट आर द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस दैट कैन बी लाइक अंडरटेकन इन ऑयल एंड गैस इंडस्ट्री तो वो वो तो खैर आप जनरल भी बता सकते हो बट ठीक है उसमें हर हर फेज को आप टच कर सकते हो बेसिकली बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस में आप हर चीज को एच को आपने टच करना एच आर को भी करो बट एच आर इज मतलब वो अलग ही डोमेन हो जाता है बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस इन ऑयल बट वेन वी सी ए बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस इट मीन्स इन ऑल द डिपार्टमेंट लाइक मॉनिटरिंग मेंटेनेंस हर जगह में क्या बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस हो सकती है इक्विपमेंट एफिशिएंट हाई एफिशिएंसी इक्विपमेंट यूज करना दैट इज बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस ओके उससे आपका रिजल्ट भी अच्छा आएगा ना तो बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस का मतलब है कि जिससे आपका रिजल्ट अच्छा है है ना तो वो चीजें आपको देखनी है राइट ओके मैम